Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new, then my name is Linda and I love to talk about fashion. So if you're into that sort of thing and you like this video, then I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. So today's video is a Chanel unboxing. And this one is actually from eBay's. It's kind of like an authenticity guarantee program. And so that made me feel a little bit more comfortable shopping on eBay because so with this program, and by the way, this is not sponsored, but I just thought this was really interesting because it's kind of like what a few other websites do where you have a seller that's like part of this program. And I guess there's like a threshold of like how much something costs. And so anyway, so then the seller, once you've made your purchase, they send your item to eBay's authenticators and then once they verify it's authentic they send it directly to you and so that's what I did I saw this beautiful Chanel bag that was pre-loved and they had it at a pretty decent price um, some seller on eBay and so I saw that there was like this little like check mark I think they call it a badge on there and so that when I clicked on it, it kind of explained a little bit about how it gets sent over there and they authenticate it before you get it. And it just made me feel a lot better. So this purchase, let me just show you. So I just got the box and it says, get carried away, authenticity guarantee. I just popped it open, but we can do the rest together. Alrighty, so it's in an eBay dust bag. And it's a nice little drawstring bag. Ooh, I'm already seeing the color peeking out. All right, let's take this baby out. Oh, I just took that out upside down. Okay. Ooh. So this bag is called, I think it's called the Just Mademoiselle, and I'm not sure if this is the small or the medium because, let's see if it says it on there. Okay, so it says this one's the medium size. Not too big, not too small, and I guess they have, what's this? Okay, so this the seller left on there, Viteri's Finds, and then this I guess is from eBay. I'm assuming if I like take this off or something, I can't return it. And then another little tag from eBay. And let's see what it says before we get into the bag. All right. So it says authenticity guarantee, tap card to your NFC enabled phone to view your authentication details. And then it just says the brand and the model of the bag. And then it says here's to new to your that. It says here's to your new handbag. Congratulations on your purchase. We're thrilled to deliver this beautiful handbag along with proof that it, it's the real deal. Your new edition has been meticulously authenticated so you can carry it with total confidence. Thanks for choosing eBay authenticity guarantee. All right, so I'll save these and I don't have my scissors on me. Okay, so now let's look at the bag a little bit more. It has this beautiful, I don't know if they call it the bijou chain or if they call it, to me, I just, I've always called it like the reissue chain, but I don't know what its real name is. It's so beautiful. Look at this color and just, it's, I'm loving this. Like the contrast to that, to the color of the bag. It's so nice. And then it has just the little CCs hanging right here. And it's that like wrinkled looking leather, very like distressed looking, very squishy. Honestly, it kind of reminds me of the Bottega bags that everyone's wearing right now. Like it just looks like one of those that you can just carry under your arm and just very, very trendy right now. Now let's look inside. Okay, so it looks like a dust bag from the actual seller. And oh, and a pen. Oh, wow. It's actually, I was not expecting that. That just kind of rolled out. So they sent a little pen with the brand of the seller and then like a little like drawstring bag. Okay. And then stuffed with tissue paper. 
I was so confused. I'm like, did they just randomly leave a pen? But no, it has like their name on there. And... Oh, this is so cool. So it has three compartments on the inside. It's got like a burgundy lining, if you can kind of see it. Yeah, you can see it there. And so yeah, so this one has a little zipper pocket. Oh, and it has the authenticity card. Hmm. Sorry if I look surprised. I just, I didn't remember reading in there that it came with it, but I guess I probably overlooked it. Oh, that's so nice. The zipper still has the plastic around the tab. All right, let's take this plastic off. And, okay, done and done. That's so nice. This is in great condition. Okay, so then the middle compartment is a big zipper compartment. So there you see it. And then this front one has just the little cereal sticker there and then no little slip pockets in there which you really don't need it because you have three entire compartments this is so cool i love it i just feel like it looks so little but it really i mean it has three compartments that's great this bag is like i feel like it's very deceiving like it looks like it wouldn't fit much but it does Okay, so let me do the phone test. Okay, so there's the phone there. I mean, I didn't doubt it would fit. I just wanted to see how it fit. I love it. It's so beautiful. And this color feels very elegant. Like, this feels like a, a date night out type of bag. Like, if I'm wearing, like, a nice black dress and then I have this... And then, let's see. Okay, so there's a strap. Okay. I'm loving it. It's so, like, elegant. And especially, like I said, if you just wear it, like, under, like, very, like, casual and classic. And let me see. So now that I've already painted a Chanel bag, what do you guys think? Do you like this color? Or do you think I should try dyeing it? some other color because I saw this bag in a few other colors and they just blew me away although I noticed the colors I liked the most weren't even on leather it was like on a jersey fabric version of this bag but I don't know because honestly I think this color is really pretty too it's very like elegant and I don't feel like it's too gaudy like it's not like some gold in your face like just jumping out I feel like it kind of blends well yeah, I'm loving it, like, under the arm. Like, that's, like, the style right now with all the Bottegas. I'm loving it. But I'm wondering if I were to dye it. What color would you guys think? I'm not saying I will do it because I do love it. I like it in this color, so I'm not saying, definitely not saying that I would dye it. But I'm just considering since I... No, 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 I'm not going to dye it. But if I did, what color would you guys recommend? I'm going to put a few of the other colors that I saw and how pretty they are. But I do think I also don't really have a gold bag. No, I have a yellow bag, a yellow Valentino. But I definitely don't have gold. No, no, I don't. Not that I can think of. No. So, yeah, I think I'll just keep it in this color because it is beautiful I think that it contrasts so nice with its own little chain like that. And honestly, I feel very comfortable with the fact that it was part of that authenticity program. And so, yeah, it's in great condition. I'm seeing uh, a few signs of wear. So, like, right here at the bottom, it looks like there's a stain. I don't know if you can capture that. Like, right here. Very little, though. Um... I'm wondering if I can just kind of like wash it myself and see if it comes out. But other than that, I guess because it's meant to have like that distressed leather look. So it doesn't really look like it's actually worn since it probably always looked like this. And on the inside, honestly, I'm so happy that it still had the sticker on the zipper. That's crazy. And it had its little authenticity card. I'm very, very happy with this. And then for full disclosure, if you're wondering how much I paid, 
Um, I paid $1,100 for this one and I looked around at other websites like Fashion File, other sellers on eBay, I checked online in general, like everywhere, like Yogi's Closet, all these other websites. And everyone else had bags like this, especially for this size, around $1,500. And the only ones that were around the price that I paid were the ones that were a lot more worn or that were the smaller size because this one comes in several sizes. I saw some people call it the bowling bag, but to me, I, I don't think it looks that much like it. Maybe because in this size it doesn't, but I think the bigger sizes kind of look more like a bowling bag, but some people do call it the bowling bag, but it's the Just Mademoiselle. And then I can show the other sizes that I found online for this one. But yeah, I absolutely love it. And I think this size is great. I thought it was a small, but I can see why this one would be the medium. I'm guessing the small probably comes to like here or something, which is probably adorable. And I do love small bags, but for now, I'm loving this one. I think this is a very elegant addition to my collection because it's not very casual like let's say some of my other bags or like even this like purple Chanel that I have but it's definitely kind of screaming like elegant date night something like that not like I'm just walking to the park or something you know what I mean like it just it seems classy and I'm loving it very timeless looking bag and I'm gonna go ahead and remove all this once I go get some scissors so let me know what you think of this beauty let me know in the comments. Do you like the color? Do you like the hardware? And also, are you going to think about using the authenticity program? Because I'm probably going to... No, no, no. I'm going to cut back on my shopping. But if I did have to shop again, who has to shop? But if I did, I would, I'll would. i definitely keep looking in the authenticity program. That wraps up today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And consider subscribing to my channel. I will see you all for the next video. Ciao!